Well, this is a time of year when a lot of people are moving to a new home and to get settled in before the school year. So it may not be only stressful for people, but it can also be stressful for pets. Devin Bianco from Michigan Humane is back with us with ways to help the, make the process less stressful for our furry friends and family members. You also have a new adorable pet that needs a home. And of course, the Mike Morse Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week. Devin, her friend, her new friend is so cute. Who is this? This is Fedora. He is a three month old kitten who just wants to be carried around and cuddled all the time. Yeah, and it took me like 3.2 seconds before I figured out why his name was Fedora. And we're like, oh, Fedora, okay. Uh, what kind of home would make a good match? <laughs> <laughs> um, really any home for him. He is very sweet and social, so he's probably going to want someone that's going to be around a little bit or at least have a friend in the house. Um, if you have resident dogs or cats, you know, if you make that introduction go slow for him so he can get settled in and yeah. I'm sure he'll make himself quite at home. <laughs> okay, okay. He's making himself at home here. He's yes, ready he to is. start like, yeah. All right, let's take exploring now. the studio. So how can pet owners help relieve the stress that comes with moving to a new home? So, you know, moving is very stressful for your pets. It's very stressful for you, so it's going to be stressful for them. So one of the big things we say is keep their routine as normal as possible. Mm -hmm. Feeding times, going outside for walks, you know, make that be um, the same time every day if it's possible. Another thing is to leave their favorite items, their beds, their toys, their food, leave them in your old house as long as possible until it's time to move so that way they can have a sense of normalcy within mm -hmm. that. And then when you do move into that place, make sure those items are one of the first things in that home so that when they get there, they can have that smell and they feel a lot more comfortable because something that they know is there. Okay. Another thing is to make sure that the pet does not roam around the house as much. When you get into that new home, use baby gates, doors, so that way they can explore a little bit at a time so they're not overwhelmed. Oh, okay. And if you have a cat, um, for litter pans, that can be a little scary. Mm -hmm. So make sure they are accessible. Um, and the normal rule of thumb is if you have two cats, you want two litter pans per a story of the house. So if it's a two-story house, there should be four litter pans. Okay. Good to know, good to know, because I would have been like, go ahead, roam around the whole house. Yep. But slower is better. Slower. Yep. All right, Devin, thank have that you confidence. so much. Such good information. Thank you. Fedora, Fedora just wants to live here. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And remember, everyone, the Mike Morse Law Firm will pay these standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week. And the Mike Morse Law Firm wants to help you if you need legal help. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or call the same. 855 Mike wins to find out if you have a case.